For us to fix this mess, we just need to mount it in the appropriate place. And obviously that should be after our navigation before we yield any content. Okay, so let's refresh and uh, looks like it's mounted in a more normal environment right there. Okay, so, so I'll just remove the input latch and I'll remove all of this. Okay, so I'll give that a refresh and it looks better with the brake tag. Okay, so now that that's done, we have a search bar. Okay, and uh, we can go ahead and search for users using this search bar. But how are we gonna do this? So let's just put in a placeholder text that says search for other users. Okay, so first of all, we don't want to define this method right here. So we're just gonna define a method called search on our component. And this search method is gonna do exactly what we did in our mount. So I'll just paste that in right here. So our search method is gonna send that request to Algolia and uh, we just need to and uh, right here, we need to make this data actually come out from our input right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually create some data and uh, we're going to return this object. And right here, we're just going to say query. And obviously, it's going to be an empty string. Okay, so right here, we have query. What we're going to do is actually do some two-way binding right here. So we'll just say vModel equals query right there. So now this input is bound to this data query. What all we need to do is actually pass in this dot query as the parameter for Algolia to search. Now that everything is set up, we need to call this search method. Okay. And we're going to call this search method as soon as we receive a key up event from our input. So we're just going to head and say key up dot enter equals search. So as soon as the user actually hits the enter key, it's going to call the search method. And since this input is bound to the query, it's going to pick up the query and it's going to send it to our Algolia and it's just going to console.log our results. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how that works. So right now, if we actually search and type enter, we should see results in our console. Okay, so let's say Kati and hit enter. And right there, almost immediately, we receive results from Algolia. So if I go ahead and search for something else, let me say Serena right there. So it says Serena and I hit enter and you discover we have hits right there. And uh, we have just one. Okay. And uh, it's of course, Serena O'Connor right there. Okay. So now our input is helping us to search for users in Algolia.